This is cheese. Well, dairy-free cheese, and no one would know. I recently got to try the new vegan Taco Bell Crunch Wrap that was being tested at only three Taco Bells in the United States, and it was really good. I went with JP and Julia from Healthy Junk Food, and they said the same thing. It was a 10 out of 10 for Taco Bell, which I know doesn't say much, it's still Taco Bell in the end. But the cheese was everyone's favorite part. I'll admit, that was pretty good. So after a bit of research, I found out it was made from soy and chickpeas. But my first thought was that it most likely used soy milk, chickpeas, and chickpea flour. So that's what I did. Now I had to do a little experimenting in this video, so bear with me. I decided to check out Taco Bell's ingredients list on their website to see what was in their nacho cheese to see if we can gather any information on flavoring. I didn't get a whole lot, but we can base some ingredients off of that. I started with two cups of soy milk in a blender and then drained a can of chickpeas, saving the aquafaba just for later use. I'm not going to use this in this video. And then I washed the chickpeas. I just washed them and rinsed them and kind of removed some skins. Now I felt like a quarter cup of chickpeas along with a quarter cup of chickpea flour felt like a nice ratio to come up with a nice cream. Now I'm going to be using a quarter cup of nutritional yeast, a good pinch of salt, and then Taco Bell actually uses lactic acid in their nacho cheese sauce. It really elevates the sharpness and cheese flavor along with citric acid. I used about one teaspoon each. Now Taco Bell listed jalapeno mash in their ingredient list, so I'm actually gonna be tossing in about two tablespoons of pickled jalapenos and about one teaspoon of olive oil. Now I used about a quarter teaspoon of annatto, but I believe that might've been a little bit too much. The flavoring really kind of showed through. So if you're gonna use it, maybe just a pinch. I don't know if it was completely necessary. Now on top of that, we used a half teaspoon of paprika and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I put the lid on and started to blend. It does help if you plug it in. Now, after a few minutes, I popped it open, gave it a taste, and realized I missed a few ingredients. The color was completely off, the taste was super bland. I did decide that I was gonna add in a little bit of carrot. Now, I wanted to do this to help with the color and maybe a little bit of the flavor. So I just shredded up the carrots, added some water, tossed them in the microwave for a minute to soften them up. And then I also remembered that I wanted to add about a teaspoon of garlic powder and a half teaspoon of onion powder. I think that was gonna help bring the flavor up. Now, the carrots were done, they're nice and soft. I started the blender up and then just kind of slowly added them until I got closer to the color that I was looking for. And, and I think we're almost there. But after a quick taste, I realized it's still kind of bland and the texture was still off a bit. So I added about another tablespoon of jalapenos. This started to get closer. The texture was still off and Taco Bell has some gums listed on their ingredients list. So I decided to add just a small amount, about a half teaspoon of xanthan gum, just to kind of bring that texture or something a little bit closer to what I'm looking for. Now I'm gonna transfer this over to the stove to heat it up and to start cooking that chickpea flour. This is gonna thicken it up, so we're gonna have to thin it down a little bit later. So let's let this cook over a low heat for about 15 minutes, which is a perfect time for today's sponsor. First, thanks to everybody who's noticed how much weight I've lost. It's been in the comments of just about every video, so thank you. I'll be honest, I feel like a new person, and that all started because of today's sponsor, Noom. Noom Weight is a different way to approach weight management. It gives you the how and why behind your actions to help you take control of your health and has proven to be a long-term weight management solution. All in all, since I started using Noom Weight two years ago, I've lost over 90 pounds. Lots of you have asked me how I did it, but honestly, it was a lot of little changes to what I was eating, how much of it, and when. I can't really lay out a diet plan because it was just me making small adjustments to my daily life over the last few years. The lessons and articles on Noom Weight are fantastic. They're my favorite part. Learning little things about the one I recently read about swapping out what you're using as snacks and why. And, and really, it's made me buy more fruits and vegetables over the last few weeks. It's made a big difference. But the great thing is, all foods are welcome on Noom. Noom only takes a few minutes a day using gold standard psychological methodologies which are foundational to the Noom platform. Noom has made me more aware of myself and the choices I was making. So gang, I'm really serious about this one. I tell everybody about Noom. Click the link in the description to take a free Noom evaluation and to redeem your free 14 day trial. It's quick, easy, and it will help you create your custom plan. Noom, thanks for sponsoring today's video and for being the catalyst that created a much healthier and happier me. And we're back. It's been about 15 minutes and this has cooked down quite a bit and it's gotten pretty thick and dry. I gave it a taste and noticed that it was starting to get a little too thick and was missing some of that creamy texture that I was looking for. I decided to add about a tablespoon of vegan butter and whisk it in. 
Uh, it was still a little bit too thick, so I added about another tablespoon of soy milk and, and whisked that in. And I felt pretty good about it until I poured it into a small bowl. We were still too thick. The Taco Bell nacho cheese is pretty thin. It'll drip off of a chip, and this wouldn't drip. And it has a nice shine to it, which this didn't. So I poured this back into the pan and decided it still needed more fat. So I added about another tablespoon of olive oil and another tablespoon of soy milk. I whisked that up and in the end, I ended up adding a lot more soy milk. It was probably about another five tablespoons to get it to the right consistency. But we got there, we finally got there. You can see now this has a much nicer pour closer to that distinguishable Taco Bell cheese. It looks really good and it drips. It is ready to roll. So now let's see what Monica has to say about the taste. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay. When was the last time you had Taco Bell nachos? Oh, I don't know, like in high school maybe. Oh <laughs> god. No. So do you remember at all? Like Yeah, no, I do, I do. Okay. But well, let's give them let's give them a try. Okay. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Tastes like cheese. Yeah. Give it a give it a Okay. Give them another bite. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a cheesy, creamy consistency. It's not like a harsh cheese or anything mm -mm. like that. It's warm, almost a little buttery. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, it just tastes like cheese. I don't know what else to say. Maybe like a little bit uh. um, of a cheddar American taste, you know? Maybe a little bit of like a sharp, a little spicy, just a little bit of a, 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 a kick to it, mm -hmm. slightly. It's mostly just really smooth, nice, white cheese flavor. Any nostalgia to the Taco Bell cheese? Well, you know how big of a Taco Bell fan I, I was. Yeah, you're not a big fan. But it does really taste like Taco Bell cheese. Doesn't it? So it does bring me back to like- Like, I feel like- the Late night college days, I guess, you know? I feel like I got pretty close. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think this is pretty similar really to what good. they're doing. Yep, mm -hmm. I think this is pretty similar to what they're doing on the new Crunch Wrap. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. bad. It's really good. Yeah. Love it. But yeah, this is it. This is a great vegan nacho cheese made mostly from chickpeas. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah, oh. yeah, chickpeas and soy. That's mm. what Taco Bell used. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. There we go. I'm gonna make a steak and cheese sandwich out of this. They probably got the chickpea idea from you. Uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it sounds awesome. Yeah. Mwah. Mwah.